there's three things that I've learned so far. One of them being communication. Okay. To learn how to care, but to understand that you should be yourself. How to manage money. I'm gonna say, okay. But here's the thing with all of those, right guys? You think that's like, oh, that's common sense. Jay, why are you telling me this? I definitely heard that before. If you practice all of these things, it's been it's been such a better ride. You have no idea how better it has been. So I learned how to communicate, right? When I first got here, a lot of people that know me know that I had a strong type of, diff I had a different type of accent that I do now. Being influenced by a lot of American culture back in YouTube and then family members and stuff like that. Nowadays, I think I'm, I'm learning how to communicate better in the sense of learning how to properly say certain things, not really use a whole lot of slang, kind of be more, sound a little bit more educated. Certain things that, you know, they're law in the, in the sense of like when you learn in school, they're, you know, they're things that you really learn. You use them. I learn how to communicate, use body language, use, I use this in YouTube, I use this in my barber career, like communication, body language, stuff like that, that are super important that we literally grow up not really understanding how much of an influence that has when you become 30 and 20 when you become your when you start your career essentially yet well depending on your career you're almost always going to use it half of our lives but it's super useful so after that i'm i'm going to have to say that that not caring mentality is not the correct mentality it's more about understanding than not caring you, do, you gotta understand that you are a unique person and you have unique thoughts and unique things that you like doing, but not everybody agrees with that. So instead of being angry at the world, be calm, cool, collected, and understanding. But keep being yourself, rock on, keep going. Just work hard, do whatever you need to do. You know, if you're an artist, do art. If you like dressing differently, dress differently. Do all those things, but understand why the world is and don't falter for being how the world is. Because at the end of the day, that's just how the word, world is. The world will change, the world will evolve, but that's time will tell how that goes. Now, truth be told, you can't really depend on the world to change. So you have to control yourself and, and understand you yourself have that factor in there. You can't change the world, but you can definitely change yourself. That's very important to never forget about, right? That you can learn how to communicate, which is when you use communication skills. You can learn how to think. You can learn how to not get bothered by those things. But not only lash out if you do get bothered, but understand why you never should lash out because they don't understand. People don't understand. People, that's not their thing, right? <sighs> no, finally got my coffee. So I'm good now. I mean, next is, is to me, is something that we, we all really know, but we never apply to where Oh, <laughs> to, me, like, to me is learning how to use money and networking is learning how to get that money. Life sadly is about who you know, not what you know. When you know what you know and you know who you gotta know, it makes life a lot easier. And that's how you really wanna look, go about it because you can make a change from the inside, but you can't make a change from the outside. Well, you can try. I'm planning on trying to make a change from the inside. That's my, that's my outlook in life and that's how I really wanna do it. And then when it comes down to financial structure and learning how to do taxes and, and what, what takes what, who takes who, um like stuff like that it's it's essential to understand because when we're so young we can get we can get got as right and the kid avoid if we just understood shout out to Jaden Smith whoever knows knows but realistically you kind of have to understand those things you gotta know where you're putting your money what are you doing with your money where does my money come from how can I make more money all these things are simple things that you can probably learn and figure out by yourself but if you don't take the time to really understand how it works, you can't learn the process until you understand it. When you learn and understand it, now you can make a change and you can probably direct your life a little bit better and that's how you become an independent contractor, making your own business, learning how to make your own business, learning about loans, APRs on loans, the what, like the approval rates, how can you get an approval rate, how to build myself up to never have a loan and stuff like that is stuff that takes a long time to understand and things that I'm still learning today but when I started learning it, it hit me in the face because of my job that I have no clue of what I'm doing, really. Come in and go out and cut hair and do that. But the financial, the structure, the thing that's going to keep me working in my field, I don't really know how to do that. I don't know how to understand it. And networking in my field is very important because 
when it comes down to people who you want to surround yourself by, you want to surround yourself by professional people, people that understand the business, people that have been in the business for a long time, and people that have had experience with money for a very long time, specifically in whatever field you're at. Because those are different things. The spending, the pudding, the the tax part about it, all those little things, you wanna surround yourself by people that know. And that's the most things. But till then, just work hard in understanding life. And realistically, it's all about un toma y dame, como la gente dice, right? It's really, what you put out is what you get back. If you know all these things, you'll probably be a better advocate for whatever that thing is. And you'll probably be in the process a lot more and you'll probably be involved a lot more. You'll probably know more people. And if you understand certain things, if you communicate better and if you, if you take the time to really understand you as a person, all of those things take you to another level where probably beforehand it took people 15 years to get to that level. I'm trying to get to that level by the time I'm 25. So to me, it's essential for the things that I really want to do to learn all these things. And maybe to you as well. That's why I'm trying to share this video. So guys, that's going to be it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate y'all. I see that my shorts are doing a lot better, so I'm going to probably do a lot more of those in the barber world. And I'm going to definitely try to do a couple, like, things to think about more often and stuff like that. But that is today's vlog as vlog and sit down combination because I really wanted to share that with y'all because I thought it was interesting that nobody really in their 20s is really talking about their 20s because we should live in the moment. But we should understand that we have a past and that past is not that long ago. Past, that's not that long ago. At least for me, it is. And from past to now... It's been great and it's been a learning curve and it's been thing that I think and it's been a thing that I think that I should have shared on and this is why I'm doing that. So don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, don't forget to, you know, share some love, follow my YouTube you follow my YouTube channel, yeah, facts. Follow my YouTube channel. Follow my IG at JD Marsan. Uh follow my TikTok also at JD Marsan1. And I'll see you soon guys.